During your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. No, oh, excuse me, undocumented. Ugh. Joining us now to discuss is Lieutenant Steve Rogers, the founder and president of Campaign for America. Lieutenant, thanks for being with me tonight. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, so the left continues to do this thing. They like to bog down the terminology, illegal alien, then it's undocumented, then it's, oh, you're not technically supposed to be here. And then if you're living in the state of California, they're a voter. What's going on? Well, here's a lesson I want to give the left and some of them Democrats out there. In the 38 years that I've been involved in law enforcement, every time a criminal used the phrase, here's the deal, well, that's the guy or the gal you're not going to trust. He constantly uses that term, here's the deal. Too little, too late, Mr. President. Uh, go to the supermarkets, go to the gas stations. In fact, have dinner around the table with a suffering family as a result of your policies. And then you'll see the real America that you and the Democrat Party has created. Uh, that is like, I just, watching that video, I mean, I've watched it five times now, and I still get sick to my stomach each time. And also, what was up with that guy? I mean, the MSNBC interviewer asking the question, like teeing him up to be like, this is my chance for, I don't know, an apology. It's weird because the White House actually said Biden did not apologize for the comment when he initially said illegal. And then he's like, oh, I meant to say undocumented. But there in the video, I mean, what if that's not an apology, what is it? He, he walked it back. He said, oh, undocumented. It should be undocumented. Oh, sorry about that. I just had like a senior moment or something like that. Um, so that was interesting to see and disgusting to see because why are we heightening our focus so much on the semantics of how we're going to call this 26-year-old from Venezuela when we should focus on the death of a 22-year-old nursing student who had her whole life ahead of her and now she'll never see her dream come true and her parents have to uh, sit there and listen to Biden call their daughter Lincoln Riley. Not so much care for the slain 22-year-old, but no, let's, fo let's focus on this nomenclature of how we're supposed to address criminals. Lieutenant. Look, he, he, you're absolutely right. He needs to apologize to the entire country, to every victim of a crime by an individual that he allowed in this country. Uh, this was a disgraceful State of the Union message. I've never seen anything like it in my lifetime. And frankly, Dana, he was probably the best campaign speech uh, in favor of the next president of the United States, yeah. who's going to be Donald Trump. So you know what? Uh, what he did backfired badly. And, you know, I'll tell you what the Democrats are going to be concerned about going down the road is the down ballots. Joe Biden is done. But now they got to worry about their Senate and Congress going out the door with him.